Dwarf Finstrom is live in Duarte, where nearly 200 homes are under mandatory evacuation orders. Cara? Sharon, no rain here yet, but city leaders tell us they are very concerned about the storm on the way. They feel at some point there will be mud flowing down Mill Canyon here. They don't know how much yet, but they say they want to be ready for it. Hi, good morning. Are you guys going to evacuate or are you guys going to choose to stay? Crews ask that question door after door in Dordie's hot zone for flooding. Are you guys choosing to stay or go? And most of the families we saw stayed put, even with the threat of these hillsides getting pummeled by the worst storm in six years. The other ones were pretty bad. So if it is, then uh, we didn't have this up. And now we do. Jim Ranella is talking about the driveway closures the city just added to these K rails. They're steel enforced and will help direct any mud flows away from homes. Doherty has also been consulting with engineers about the health of this still charred hillside. And yesterday, Drone Force 2 took this video of crews once again emptying the catch basins at its base. Each storm that we've had, we've gotten a little. We've learned a little bit more and have been more prepared. Rudy Fuentes headed out to work this morning, but knows he'll have to sleep elsewhere because the streets are expected to remain sealed off. The Federoffs were the only family we found actually packing up to evacuate. It's the third time they've done so. The first time I was like freaking out and packing up like all of my, you know, valuables and all of the things that were sentimental to me and like. You know, my whole entire car was basically full because I was like, oh, the house is going to flood. They're hopeful that just like with those earlier storms, they'll be able to come home soon with the biggest toll on their neighborhood, muddy streets. And city leaders hoping for that too. But Jeff Sharon, they say with the amount of rain that we may get over the next couple of days, they still want to encourage anyone who hasn't evacuated from this street and some of the surrounding streets here yet to do so. All right.